on everyone so tonight is the night that i'm going to show you guys how to update the firmware on your camera so guys let's get to it all right guys so what we have here is a canon website which is that's basically the camera that i'm working with it's the rebel t3i it's an old camera but i'm still working with it so it has a uh, firmware version of 1.0.3 so we're just going to give this a shot and see what improvements it may just do to this camera so we already uh downloaded our firmware to our computer uh and basically we have the firmware here so this is the firmware update uh and you know it always comes with some firmware instructions but you guys are here for the video so let me not bore you you want to connect your sd card that has been connected to your camera that sd card in your camera has already been formatted you already used it for pictures and videos so what you want to do is first back up all your pictures uh, and videos from your camera back them up to your computer all right after you did that take your sd card and plug it into your computer many of the times laptops come with an sd card reader right here which you pre pretty much cannot see but there's an sd card slot reader for this laptop what i've found is that the sd card slot readers on laptops are just slow so it, it takes time to download what i highly recommend is you guys to invest in the sd card adapter what we have here is a sd card so this sd card has already been in my camera so it's basically already been um configured and formatted from the actual camera uh, since my computer here does not have a sd card reader basically purchased this usb adapter from amazon so basically it's a sd card reader you can put your standard sd card here and then you can put your micro sd card there all right so what we're going to do is reinsert it it is a 3.0 uh, usb you know, I might be doing this the wrong way now. Since I'm doing it with one hand, I'm spinning around, see? There we go, yep. So again, it's a 3.0 USB, which I would highly recommend because if you just use, you know, um, your typical, uh, you know, anything lower than a uh, high-speed USB port. transfer rate uh, for transferring pictures and videos is crazy but if you use a high-speed USB uh, port on your computer or laptop you have no problem this is up to our USB port here so let's go ahead and plug it in so we already downloaded our firmware to our computer we have the firmware here so this is the firmware update. This is the SD card here. We're at the root of our folder, uh, which you see DICOM and you know, miscellaneous. So basically what we want to do is we want to copy this file. You just copy that file over here. All right. So after you do that, remove your SD card from the computer. Here, we already have our SD card inside. As you can see here, that's got the firmware already installed. So what you're going to do on your camera is change your camera to P. Now P stands for program, all right? So I'm at P, which stands for program. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our camera on. All right, camera's on. It's in program. We're going to select menu. All right, from here, we're going to pretty much toggle all the way over to the last uh, yellow configuration. Again, by default, it's probably over here. So you, what you wanna do is toggle all the way over and you wanna go down to your firmware. So my understanding that my firmware version is 1.0.2. The latest is for my camera is 1.0.3 and I'm at 1.0.2. Okay, cool. So we're gonna click firmware version and current version 1.0.2 and update and i'm gonna click okay 
Now, please be sure that when you're doing this, the firmware updates, uh, please be sure that you have a full charge battery. Again, full charge battery, all right? So now it sees that there's the 1.0.3 firmware. So please select new version. So I'm gonna select, hit set. And it says update firmware 1.0.2 to 1.0.3. Click OK. All right, so it says updating. A warning, do not turn off uh, the power switch or touch any buttons. Hmm. That's a good one because uh, my camera is, it's set on, you know, that automatic what do you call it like a power saving a power sa saving setting so let's see if that actually comes into play uh my my assumption is that these cameras many cameras should be uh pretty much um computerized uh that if it's receiving a firmware update uh those power settings should get overrided um and therefore the camera should not go into a power saving mode there we go. Goodness gracious. We are at 90%. 90% and we are looking good, feeling good. Got our smiley face on. I'm ready to learn something new today. Hopefully you guys are too. So update is complete. We have updated from firmware 1.0.2 to firmware 1.0.3. We're gonna hit okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click menu because I wanna just double check. Yep, so firmware has been updated. And just like that, guys, we are done. So what we're gonna do, I wanna get out of here because we're still in program mode. So what I'm gonna do is hit off. All right, it's doing a little center cleaning. And what I'm going to do is just, you know, go back to a different setting. So, um, just like that, we are done. Make sure that's in there. And there you go. So yeah, as you guys can see, I already had that firmware on this SD card and I'm just going to delete it. And there we go. Now my SD card is free. Uh, firmware on your camera is pretty simple. It's absolutely pretty simple when you do it from the SD card. There's another way, like some cameras, they have utilities where you can plug your camera up to it, browse out to a file, the computer utility sees the camera, and then it updates it from there too. That's a cool way of doing it too, but you know, this is, you know, the way that I've done it thus far, and it seems to be working. So I'm gonna play around with this camera and see exactly what new things that I can discover and understand. I'm still, I'm new to this, guys. I am absolutely new to this. I am not a... Uh, a camera professional. I am an IT professional, but I'm not a camera professional. So it's a lot to learn. And one of the things that is pretty much sticking out with me is that when I look at the screen, everything seems clear. Uh, however, after I take a video, there's a lot of green in my videos and pictures. And I'm just like, how come? Like, I would rather to have that grain to display on my screen so that way I can truly know what the output, you know, is. Because on my screen, it looks super duper high def, but when I output that file, it's just all grainy. And I'm just like, ah, oh, now I gotta go into Adobe Premiere and clear it up, and that's, that's time. But anyway, guys, uh, enough rambling. Hopefully you guys have found this video helpful. Please, oh please, do not forget to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and share. And, uh, you know, I'll be with you guys on the next video. And that's that. Um, all you need is SD card and an SD card reader. This SD card reader you can purchase from Amazon, pretty much universal. If I were to take out this, you know, this small micro SD, it will fit in here. But, you know, I'll put it in this adapter so that way it can fit in this camera. All right, guys, that's it. Peace.